Today we're comparing the sounds of the Fender Jazzmaster Acoustasonic to the actual guitars that inspired them. Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. I hope you're all doing great today. I certainly am. I'm really excited to be trying out this Fender Acoustasonic Jazz Master. Almost brand new at this point, but for this video we wanted to do something a little bit special. Rather than just, you know, reading you the specs and everything, like all of that you can find online. Uh, there'll be a link in the description box down below to not only this beautiful white one, but all the other ones. And you can see specs and you can see um, you know, the different options that you have sound-wise and uh, the different woods and all of that good stuff. But today, uh, what I'm going to do is introduce some of the different sounds that you have on the guitar and knowing that these sounds are based on actual instruments. Uh, you're gonna have a round shoulder sort of mahogany guitar, another one that's gonna be Grand Auditorium. You obviously have electric pickup uh, options as well in there. So I thought it would be a great uh, thing to see how it actually compares to the real thing, right? So today I'm going to be doing three rounds of comparison. I'm going to start in position five on the Acoustasonic and that's going to be a round back uh, mahogany guitar uh, in the name of our infamous Gibson J45 right here. Then I will switch to position three, that is a Grand Auditorium Rosewood guitar and I will be using uh, the Taylor 714 CE for comparison. And we will finish uh, with the first position on your selector here, which is just the actual humbucker in the Acoustasonic, and I will compare that to the humbucker in that Fender American Ultra. I'm gonna do my very best to play consistently and try to play exactly the same thing with the same attack and intensity, and uh, maybe for the electric round, even just throw some pedals in there, see how uh, this one reacts compared to a traditional humbucker. Right, let's start with position uh, five and that's gonna be our round back mahogany guitar. Now, obviously, because we're recording the Acoustasonic DI, I have no idea how it actually compares to this one, but just a little bit as a disclaimer um, before we go on to the next sound is that we're gonna be recording these acoustic instruments with a mic, the shops that you see right here, because the sounds that you have in the Acoustasonic are meant to be the sound of the acoustic guitar and not the sound of their Pietro pickup, and so, because of that, we are miking these, we are also taking the DI out, and the Acoustasonic is being recorded just DI. With that said, let's go on to the second sound that we're gonna talk about today, and that is the Grand Auditorium Rosewood guitar, that is position three on the Acoustasonic. <laughs>
For this electric round, we're going to proceed a little bit differently, obviously. I'm gonna plug the Acoustasonic into the Rev D20 that you see right there, going into the Palmer cab with Celestian Craneback 75 speakers. And we'll do the same thing with the American Ultra. So I'm gonna start with just the sound of the humbucker on the Acoustasonic, then I'll be throwing in some reverb and some overdrive to see how uh, it reacts to that, and I'll do the exact same thing with the American Ultra right after that. All right, now I really enjoyed that last round because at least I could hear the difference uh, right now in the room. And I'm, I have to say, I'm really impressed by that pickup. I, I didn't really have any expectations of it. I know it's still like a, a, a humbucker and it's a good humbucker, but still because of the construction and all, it's kind of off-putting sometimes. And I'm really impressed. Now, obviously this isn't a scientific experiment by any means. We just wanted to give you guys an idea and understanding of what the Acoustasonic Jazzmaster is capable of. And would that be then a valid option uh, to go for that guitar as a Swiss army knife kind of a thing compared to having that guitar for this, that guitar for that, that guitar for, you know. Um, I don't know, you tell me, you let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you guys uh, think of it, but I'm fairly impressed. Playability wise, which is something that you can't really translate on YouTube is really, really good. It's definitely on par with what you'd expect from a California made instrument. So not to worry on that end of things, but you know, what matters is the sound. So yeah, really curious to see what you guys have to say about this. But on that, I really hope that that little comparison was useful, that you guys found some information in there. And if so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel, that would be incredible. So thank you so very much in advance. If you guys need any more information on the Fender Acoustasonic Jazzmaster and all its uh, different variations, go check out the links in the description box down below. Take care, keep making music, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.